Hi everyone, as a part of our regular Meet the Scientist series of videos, today is October the 29th, 2020, and I want to introduce you to Carl Byrne of the U.S. Geological Survey. Carl, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing out here in this field? Yeah, um, I'm here uh, as part of my work with the uh, U.S. Geological Survey's Next Generation Water Observing Systems effort uh, in the upper Colorado River Basin, and that's an effort to better understand hydrology over an 18,000 square mile watershed um, from the headwaters of the Colorado to the state line at Utah. And we're trying to better predict water quality, water availability. Um, my work within that is uh, the Water Isotope Network, or WIN, gotta love a good acronym. Um, and what I'm doing is using oxygen and hydrogen isotopes, stable isotopes of water to trace hydrology and hydrologic processes like evaporation and figure out uh, elevations of recharge and things like that. Um, and so I'm setting up a, a network of precipitation collectors around the basin. Um, most of these are seasonal collectors like the ones you see back here and they'll collect roughly six months worth of snow in the winter and rain in the summer protected by a level uh, layer of mineral oil so it doesn't evaporate. Um, and that'll give me a seasonally integrated recharge uh, signal. And then because I'm collaborating with the SFA, we have the opportunity to compare to weekly sampler, samples. Uh, and those are gonna be collected in these uh, collectors here. And we can you know, get that more high resolution data and compare that to the, the seasonal uh, integrated data. I've got 12 of the integrated collectors installed right now around the watershed because we've got to cover a lot of ground um, and it's hard to do that, uh, do the weekly samples everywhere, but that's why this collaboration with the SFA is going to be so beneficial to me and hopefully also to the SFA. That's great. And so when you refer to the watershed, actually we sort of Think about that in two different terms. Here we are, you know, standing at the, the lowest elevation of the East River watershed. We're actually on a floodplain of what's referred to as the Estes Ranch. This is a property owned by Elizabeth and Bob Hughes, and they've greatly um, provided the opportunity for us to locate our lowest elevation sampler in the East River watershed. Uh, Carl referred to this network or the wind associated with a much larger watershed. Uh, really, they're looking at uh, processes occurring throughout the entire upper Colorado, both the Colorado River main stem, its primary tributaries, and the entire Gunnison. And so this collaboration represents kind of our, our first formal opportunity to show a nice linkage between DOE-funded activities through the Watershed SFA and the USGS-funded activities of the NGWAS um, program. And so just to really emphasize here, through our Crested Bait butte Base field staff, we have the opportunity, and Carl, why don't you show us how that's going to be removed moved on a weekly or a big storm event uh, basis. So essentially one of our employees will be driving by the site uh, once per week, um, removing this sampler, taking it back to our facilities in the town of Crested Butte, and then processing the samples for um, their co water isotope composition. Besides this location, we're actually installing along an elevation gradient. We'll be moving up valley toward the town of Mount Crested Butte. We'll be installing a similar weekly sampler uh, at Dr. Rosemary Carroll's house, and then a higher elevation site up near uh, the Irwin Town site. So Carl, really thank you for introducing us to this project today, and this is a fantastic opportunity for collaboration. Yep, patent pending on the snow baffle. Excellent. <laughs>